We're studying intelligence. This is a look at emotional intelligence uh, definition, first of all. It's a type of social intelligence. It's very much related to intrapersonal and interpersonal intelligence. We don't have these nice, neat categories when we think of intelligence. Daniel Goleman is a name associated with that. You can see his definition right there. Uh, ability to monitor one's own and others' emotions, to discriminate among them, and to use that information to guide your thinking and your actions. And Goleman says that EI, emotional intelligence, is much more important for success in the real world than IQ. IQ is the best predictor of your ability to do equally well on another IQ test. So, five domains or five parts of emotional intelligence. Self-awareness, that means observing yourself, identifying, recognizing feelings as they happen. Kind of like intrapersonal intelligence. Managing emotions, handling feelings so that they are appropriate. Understanding the origins of emotions. Motivating oneself when you don't want to do something. How do you motivate yourself? How do you channel your emotions in the service of a goal? How do you delay gratification to stifle that impulse to obtain a larger goal? Empathy is sensitivity to others' feelings and concerns and ability to take their perspective. Ability to appreciate the differences among between people and handling relationships. That is managing emotions in others, social competence, leading groups towards a shared goal. Now, here are ramifications. We can address all five domains within a general education curriculum. Meaning we don't have to have a separate class in emotional intelligence. We can create an inner curriculum that fits like a hand within the glove within our general education curriculum areas. It can fit within the regular curriculum. For instance, we can teach students how to be aware, self-awareness, identify their own emotions. This is through writing, reflective writing, making personal connections with good books. Remember, books allow you to get inside the head of characters who are feeling and experience making these connections. Managing their emotions, we can and we must teach students how to manage their emotions. What is the healthy response to anger, anxiety, sadness, and other emotions? It's normal to feel this way. Unless children know that, they do not know. As far as uh, goals, how to define Find goals, how to break it into smaller steps. We need to first do that for them, but then help students define their goals and then break it into steps, motivating self. We can help students develop empathy, all right, by putting them in small groups, allowing them, enabling them to hear the thoughts and feelings of others, to get the perspective of others. Real empathy, of course, is developed by being empathetic ourselves, so we are modeling, we are thinking out loud. And teaching social skills. We must teach them, this is how you wait in line, this is how you answer a telephone, this is how you be a good friend. Interpersonal skills, how to act within a group, uh, and relating and relationship skills, things like how to listen, how to try to understand. Short overview here of emotional intelligence. This was just meant to be an overview. We can and we must teach it within our gen ed curriculum. 